candidate for the Louisiana House of Representatives, Robbie Gaddy. Uh, we had Raymond Cruz in earlier this week. First question was, we'll ask you the same one. So why, change it a little bit, why Robbie Gaddy? Well, I'm a lifelong Bossier resident. Uh, I've had uh, great experiences with our public school system. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the best representation in this thing of someone that's come from poverty to prosperity in Bossier City. I'm going to go down there. I've got leadership skills that I've had developed through the military, honed in ministry, and uh, just I'm, I'm looking forward to going down there. Let's say the death penalty has been in the news this week, and um, there's a bill that would abolish it. Um, how do you vote on that? I will not support that bill. Okay. I want that the death penalty is vitally important to criminals. Uh, you know, if we don't have punishment, then uh, then there's that's what we see in the home. You know, mm-hmm. and that's what we're dealing with. I think with the corporal punishment thing too. I mean, my fear of getting whipped at school, in middle school, changed my life. It changed yeah. my life. So you support oh, corporal absolutely. punishment? Oh, Support, cor- uh, support run, the death penalty. Run through a couple of other quickies that the governor has brought up. Uh, equal pay for men and women? I have 11 nieces. If they become a neurosurgeon and they work along with another neurosurgeon who is a male, they should get exactly the same pay if they do exactly the same job. I'm not going to legislate that. Are you, the, the, so you would the, you would vote against the bill? Well, no, I wouldn't vote against it, but I support that idea. But I'm not going to bring up that legislation. Okay. I mean, that's something I think that they deserve, and they and they'll get. And if legislation comes toward me, I will vote for it. What about a uh, minimum wage increase? The governor wants to increase it to eight fifty no, over two years. No way, small business guy. I'm in charge of that. I need to be in charge of that. Okay. So you would vote against uh, a no minimum mi- wage? No minimum increase. wage. No. All right. Let's talk tops in education for a minute. Um, 40% funding of tops over the for students at right now do you support fully funding tops changing tops what's your idea i think it definitely needs to be changed we looked at the original arguments on the house floor it is not the same as it was designed to be it's been changed uh The class of 2021 needs to know exactly what we're going to do for them so they can plan. As a business owner for 20 years, one of the things I hate is when Medicare changed the rules on me in the middle of the game. I thought that was a very uh, terrible thing to do. It's hard to adjust for that. So our high school seniors, they need to know exactly what we're going to do for TOPS. I think it needs to be fully funded or or either we've got to adjust it, either the GPA a little bit. And then then another unique thing I have is that if you go to college and you party for a semester, that, hey, that just turns into a student loan. Just mm-hmm. pay it back. Uh, it's, a, it's, an, it's an investment we're making in our best and brightest. We want them to work here, stay here, live here, raise a family here. we got to talk about roads. I know, Robert, you want to talk about the gas tax. It's interesting that the original Transportation Task Force wanted 23 cents, that there are a number of of business and civic leaders are across the state who are now backing 17 cents. Your sense of that, your thoughts on that? I think it's been misused for so long that we don't trust them. I think that's so. I'm not for the gas tax. I've polled that with some of my business people in my district, and, and we're not for that. The reason is, is because they're not spending it. We have no idea what percentage of that actually goes to District 8. How do you even start to, to untangle that web that is in Baton Rouge of, and I think you hit the nail on the head, nobody trusts nobody the people trusts. we're giving our money to. Is How do you start to, to take apart that morass of rules and regulations, that black hole of money? You know, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, you've got so much special interest down there controlling this. And uh, as you dissect it, I mean, you know, the guy telling us we need roads is may be, in, may be working for a road builder, you know. So we've got all kind of, it's very convoluted. But I think we have a road problem we've got to address, but I'm not so sure that this gas tax would do that any good. I don't think it's got the support down there to pass anyway. Back, back to education for just a minute. Um, our schools are not doing well. We're, we're failing on several fronts. Do you support the idea of letting me send my children to private schools getting vouchers? Absolutely not. Both in, in my district in Bossier Parish, we're an A-B school district. It's one of the best in the state. I think we're a model for that. My opponent, this is a, this is a direct conflict that we have, is that he is 
he is a proponent for that voucher system. It's, it's proven with the Louisiana Federation of Children, the special interest that's investing in him. His wife is a public, I mean, a private school teacher. His kids go to private school. So he's the private school voucher candidate. And in Bossier Parish, we're, we're upset about that. The teachers are upset. You, we got a good school system. You could take office as early as a week after the election, I guess after the results are certified, and get down there and have to vote on many of these key issues. Do you have something on your heart that is your number one priority right now? Uh, number one priority is getting our state revenues and expenses calculated properly so that we can balance the budget. We're flying blind. We have no idea what's going on. We, we end up with these mid-year deficits, and then they come up here and they go after the two, two most important things, higher ed and, and health care. And we just can't continue to do that over and over again. We have got to get the ba- the budget balance. John Bell talks and talks and talks about we are approaching a fiscal cliff. You are shaking your head in disagreement. I am not going to fall for the shiny, the shiny object. That's what previous people have done. They go down there and get distracted. Okay? We have got to stay focused, keep our eye on the ball. We cannot let special interests control it.